ClickUp versus Trello versus Notion. In this comparison video, let's see which one fits for us the best. This is totally depending on what is your actual project. So in this video, I'm going to be seeing guys how does the actual Trello works, how does the Notion works, how does ClickUp work as well. I'm going to check out the pricing. I'm going to check out all the resources, the products, the solutions, and all the demos requests that we can have now accessible in, into the three of them. So um, as you can see, I'm already into Notion. I'm here into Trello, I'm here into ClickUp. So these three options are gonna be like really, really great to have a product management, but they do have like their own stuff. So uh, it's really, really worthy guys that if you wanted to get started with a project management tool, you want to don't just focus into one tool, you want to look out for more, more and more ideas. So for example, let's see what does the actual Trello application has to offer to us. So if I hit now into Trello, uh, what I want to do is to go into the aslane.com since one, this is the actual uh, software that actually runs the actual Trello. So let's go for the actual pricing. So as you can see, we have a free version. We have a standard version, a premium and an enterprise version. So this is the part when we wanted to figure out what is the actual niche, the company, the brand, the product that we wanted to specifically speaking about the project management we want to work with. So let's say that I want to have a free account. I want for individuals only. I don't have any kind of team. I don't have any kind of company. I wanted to work for myself, for my own YouTube videos, whatever. So with that being said, here, for example, the premium section has four teams. So let's just discard that. The standard version has four small teams that need to manage work and scale collaborations. And the free version is for individuals or teams looking to organize any project. So we have two different versions that we can use. And in the free version, we have unlimited cards. We have the 10 boards per workspace, unlimited power apps, unlimited storage, 250 workspace comments. We have custom backgrounds, much more. And plus, if we are paying for a standard version, we have unlimited boards, advanced checklist, we have custom fields and much more, which I think that since this is for an individual person, we want to just focus into like not a lot of tools. So I, I believe Trello has their own custom stuff, which I think is really, really great. Now, if I wanted to compare this with the actual ClickUp, let's go once again into the pricing. And once again, we have the free unlimited business and business blues account. So here, as you can see, we do have a 100 megabyte store, unlimited task, limited free plan membership, two-factor authenticator, watch boards, and much more. But I believe that what we wanted to look out is for the actual integrations. So I believe that ClickUp has a lot of solutions and products, but you're not available to use that if you have a free account. So once again, I can go into my actual products of the ClickUp, and as you can see, they have platform templates integration. Let's go for integrations into ClickUp, which is this option. And this one's gonna be showing us all the companies that works with the actual ClickUp. So as you can see, it says native integrations, API, Slack, GitLab, GitHub. So that means that if I wanted to work with, let's say for example, Google Drive, or I wanted to work with Outlook, I must see if it's available for free or I needed to make a payment for, let's say like the more affordable that says $5. Now into the notion, once again, I wanna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna go into the prices and as you can see, we have the free, the plus and the business version. Now into the free version, we have a lot of workspaces. We have integrated with Slack, GitHub and more. We have basic pay page analytics. We have seven day page history, invite 10 guests. And the plus version, we have everything and unlimited blocks files and much more. So I believe that speaking about the integration, speaking about the tools, I am pretty sure that ClickUp is winning this case, but let's create an account into the three of them and see which one actually works as we are working with them. So what I want to do is to close these actual elements because I am using a private account. And here you can see I already have an account into Notion, into Trello, and into ClickUp. So since we are inside Notion, the very first thing is gonna be asking like, what would you like to use Notion for? Let's go for work, continue. Notion is a great for work. What is the name of your company? So what you input, let's go for it. only YouTube 2023. How many people? Let's go for 149, continue. What is your role? Let's go for founder or freelancer, whatever you want to. Let's go for individual contributor. And to your team, let's go for creative and other. 
correct, so I don't want to mess around there. I want to skip this part, actually. So there, I am now inside Notion. So here into Notion, as you can see, we have like a template that's going to be helping us to get started. Invite a teammate to come work with you. I can plus the check mark if I wanted to. So this one is going to be helping us to get started this template. So if I wanted to look out for something, if I wanted to start from scratch, I can go into the team spaces. I have the general version, I can add a new page, and this is where the magic begins. This is where I can uh, start to, let's say, customize my stuff. Let's go for YouTube management of the 2023, and there we go. So add new, import templates, uh, import whatever you wanted to, and what I can do is to go into the fast forward slash, and I can start to, uh, let's say, add a comment. So speaking about the comments, I have the basic blocks. Like for example, I can add a page, a to-do list, a table, numbered list, toggles, quotes, dividers, linked to it in a specific page. So I think it's really, really great to use that part. So let's go now into Trail and see what they have to offer to us. Go and do exactly the same thing, YouTube 2023. I'm going to go into create my workspace. And I want to skip this premium part. I don't want to have the free trial. And now as you can see, this one uh, appears to be a little bit more different than the Notion. So we have the board view. I'm pretty sure we don't see this board view. We have this like if this was more like Google Forms or Google uh, Word. So let's go and go into the board. And as you can see, we only have this only board section. If you want to change from the dashboard, table, calendar, we need to upgrade my account. It's great that we can have integrations totally for free. It's going to be really a live saver. So I have my calendar view. I have my table view, the members here in the upper suite. I have the workspace. So as you can see, it's a little bit more spreader than Notion, but I, I believe that I'm need to have a little bit more time if I wanted to figure out how does the Trello actually works. Now, continuing with the actual ClickUp, it's going to be asking what would you like to use Clip for? Let's go once again for work. 1 to 10, just me. And do you use any of these tools? Now, take a look into ClickUp. This one has already been asking what are the tools that we already used for project management. So then, now we are here to ClickUp, we are seeing this a little bit like it was Trello. So we are seeing a lot of stuff into the left pod, to the upper pod. Uh, everything is like like a demo workspace. Now, the last thing that I want to do just to figure out like which one fits for me the best is to figure out how does the actual template works. So here to click up, let's go for dashboards. My private dashboard is going to go into plus and I want to use a template. Let's go for location. I'm going to hit into space, hit into apply and let's see if I can make a project management for the actual template. And here, I want to look out for project management. As you can see, I think that we already have this project management tools. I can use the template. I believe this one is totally for free. So I want to go into the use template, creating the space. And as you can see, I believe that we have the plus task here. We have the Trello tool, all the shortcuts appears in here, which I think is like a really live server. We can make a recording clip. We can track time. Um, we can do a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to cancel this for a second because already recording this, we have the track time. So I believe this one is really, really great to get started with a company, not by ourselves, but like for a small company, if you wanted to track out the people who are working with you, let's say, for example, YouTube video number one, phase number one, and I want to track the time of the people who are actually starting to work here and to click up. I believe we can do exactly the same thing to Trello, but this is uh, only for uh, paid stuff. So let's go for project management. And there we go. So once again, the board actually appears in here. I believe it's actually looking really simple and great. But speaking about the ClickUp, I believe ClickUp has like more stuff. And I don't pre I'm not pretty sure if this one is like a benefit or like a con. So that totally depends on what is the actual company, the amount of people who are working in here and how much stuff you wanted to see inside ClickUp. And lastly here into Notion, if I wanted to get started with a template, let's go and try to look for project and task. And here I want to look out for, uh, let's say, get the template. So I see the project, I see all my tasks here, I can see by project, only by mine, only by people. 
and I believe that all of these elements are totally for free into Notion. But so uh, this is how we can just make a few comparison between the three of them. This is just like my main idea and all the resources that we have just checked it out. There's a lot more to cover, but this is just like a broad idea of which one might be fitable for you and you don't have like to waste your time and try to try it out uh, all of them like for days even for weeks and figure out which one fits for you the best this is like the main reason we created the video for you so with that being said guys hopefully this was a very useful video for you now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more comparison videos about product management tools so thank you once again for watching the video guys and see you next time